All right, what's up, guys? Now, I know there's probably going to be some people um, overall going against what I'm going to say in this video. But, uh, yeah, overall, just cutting straight on into it. So, is Dragon Age the Veil Guard worth buying? Short answer, yes. I, I would say that it's worth buying. In my opinion, it's one of these games that I will buy a couple of times. Like, I'll buy it on a, um, like, one platform. And if I wanted to get trophies or achievements for the other, it's pretty much a replayable game, in my opinion. I like it. I don't know. There's other people out there. So, here's the thing. Because people have, they're reviewing the wrong stuff, in my opinion. Like, I'm seeing where people are reviewing the dialogue. Like, the, the overall, the acting in the uh, video game. And in my opinion, I'm like, bro, I, look, I don't care about that type of stuff. I play video games where there ain't no acting at all. Like, I, and see, that's the thing where it's like, I think that's what a lot of people need to do. I'm like, you need to play them games that are made by developers um, where it's just only one of them. You know, so in my opinion, then my like, fam, if if this is what all they can afford, because you gotta remember, there's a budget with a uh with video games nowadays. It ain't like you know, it's just oh, we could just gather up whoever and stuff. Like, yeah, if it's something like uh, Grant that follows San Andreas, where they got Samuel Jackson, then of course. But it's like when you're having somebody that maybe just started their acting career, and then yeah, Dragon Age Veilguard is the only thing that was available. I ain't gonna be mad about that, fam. I did look. There were some days where I would just sit down and watch sci-fi movies. I'm not trying to criticize sci-fi movies, but at the same time, I'm like, fam, they are allowed on TV. So I'm like, I right, look, I, I just, I don't know. Like, I guess with me, I can appreciate bad acting. I'm not going to allow that to ruin my day. But yeah, it's like people are getting on the acting in the game. And I'm like, fam, to just overall tell you guys what y'all really are here for, like, is the gameplay good? Yes, the gameplay, in my opinion, perfect. They have, like, if you want to um, overly challenge yourself, they have that option. If you want just to experience the story, you very well got that too. So it's like the combat is a, it's, it's, yeah, it's pretty much, the, it's like no, well, there is combat, but when you put it on the easiest difficulty, it's like nobody stands a chance against you. So it, it's like the opposite of Elden Ring or something like that, you know, where it's like now it, the, like, enemies know how it feels to, you know, die to two hits and stuff. But, um, yeah, and then I imagine that probably the hardest difficulty in the game, it's, yeah, like some Elden Ring or, uh, stuff like games along those lines, but, no, other than that, the story seems like it's, uh, pretty solid, like, I like the story, there, and, you know, I don't want to, like, spoil it for nobody, but there, so I'm, I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say, but there's, like, an area of the game where, in my opinion, it's, like, it's, it's honestly, it's the best area, and I have yet, uh, like, to beat the game or to get to a, uh, like, point where I'm, like, halfway through the game, I think, when they said there was, like, one area that, uh, I need to, uh, I guess, like, explore, and I'm only, like, 4% down of exploring that area, so it's, like, the thing is, and I thought that's what the game was, I thought it was gonna be, like, an open world type situation, but, um, it's not, but it, it's so, if I had, like, any video game to compare, uh, Dragon Age to Velgar, it would probably fall in the, um, same category as, uh, God of War, and, uh, it, it, it like, comes off as that, it has, like, its little adventurous, uh, aspects of the game, where I don't know why, like, halfway, um, um, through playing one mission, I started thinking of uh, Uncharted, and I was like, I'm kind of, not like, like, exactly like Uncharted, but just, it, it falls in that category as uh, adventurous, like, they do have you go into uh, um, quite a few different areas in the game, and I'm just only, I don't even think I'm at, like, the halfway portion of beating the game, like, there's still side missions and other stuff that I got to do in this game, so, yeah, I'm like, I think when it comes down to achievements, and maybe that might give you guys an idea of where I'm at in the game, um, I only have 8 out of the 52 achievements, so I'm, like, at the 15% mark of the game, like, part 5, so I'm at the, um, part 5, uh, mark of the game, but, and, yeah, and I'm put over 5 hours in, so, it, yeah, it, it, like, it takes you a minute to, uh, get through the game and stuff, because, uh, from what I've seen, they say it's, like, 70 hours to, um, complete the game, so I don't know if that's, like, 100% completion or story, um, completion, but regardless, to me, that's a lot of hours, you know, so, but, um, yeah, I've been playing it on PC. I'm actually thinking about getting it on console, whether it's Xbox or PlayStation, just so I can, uh, yeah, I, I might, I don't know. I feel like I should get it on PlayStation, but I might get it on Xbox. I just, I don't know. Like, it's it's either one of the two, whichever is available. You know, if I, next time I go to the store and I see it on the uh, shelves, yeah, I'm, I am going to probably end up at some point. Yeah, it's one of those types of games where it's like, I'll play it a couple of times just because of how fun it is, but... 
yeah, I'm enjoying it. I like it, you know, and I guess, like, if anybody's wondering, because you see, like, these RPG games, you see a lot of them where they got, like, uh, um, like, spiders, so I know if some of you guys might have, like, an arachnophobia, um, I haven't came across no spiders, and from what I've seen online, they said there's no spiders in the game, and I don't know about future DLCs, but they are gonna come out with some DLCs in the, uh, future for this game, so I'm excited for that, but, um, yeah, overall, it's a solid game. I like it. I had to say it's on, and one of, like, out of all the games I have played this year, Dragon Age, um, the Veil Guard, it's probably one of my favorite games. I like it. So, shout out to the developers behind it. I think they said that the same people that was behind this was also behind, uh, Anthem, so I know that might cause some concerns for you guys, but, uh, no, it's good. Like, if I had to compare it, I would say that this is definitely more polished and put together than Anthem. Anthem, it just seemed like that they had rushed that game and they didn't really give that game no time. So yeah, Dragon Age the Velguard, I could definitely see it um, being one of those games where it's like, yeah, it might put that uh, company back on the, I think it was like Bioware, I think that was the uh, name of the people behind this game. If not that, hold on, uh, Han, um, what is it, Hans, Hans Zimmer, he's behind the uh, music of this game, it makes sense, because I was like, there's, there's some good music that plays throughout uh, Dragon Age, the Velgar, like that good background music, but yeah, the developers are uh, Bioware, publishers, EA, and I'm like, man, I'm surprised, because I'm like, usually I criticize EA in their video games, but, um, no, Dragon Age, the Velgard, it's one of those games where I feel like it was made by accident, like, they didn't mean to make it into a good game, but I feel like, yeah, it was, uh, it's a, it's a pretty solid game, hopefully they don't do no silly stuff down the road where they're all like, oh, we're gonna cancel DLCs and all this, I'm like, no, EA, Bioware, this is your guys' one chance and opportunity to win people over with this video game, all right? Now, the game does have a mostly positive rating, but, and I, you know, and I think that's like, so, there might be some other issues with this game that I'm just not really looking at, but I'm like, it's, for me, I'm like, I'm, I'm liking it, so, but, uh, no, let me see what negative ratings exist. There's, like, not for fans of Dragon, so this is one, um, rating off of, uh, Steam, so there was, uh, like, not uh for fans of dragon age unfortunately there's all throw throws away all choices from the first two games all of them nothing matters apparently and all for all and all but a few from inquisition which was i think it was the last one no respect for their namesake doesn't deserve the name also the dialogue is a tra yeah i'm not okay i'm not gonna read that they don't hear talking about the dialogue decent game but the writing is pure mass effect is not looking i'm like bro it's like people are really getting so butthurt and upset over the uh acting in the game and i'm like i look i it's here's the thing Again, I have played games where there was no uh, acting, there was no lines, there was nothing. You just had it where people, they just move their hands like this, and you just see, you have to, like, read it yourself. So you have to be your own actor. And I'm like, and then there are some games where they don't even have, like, no acting, no dialogue, no nothing whatsoever. It's just you go, like, Supermarket Simulator. I mean, yeah, that's not a game where you can compare it um, to uh, Dragon Age the Velgar, but I'm just saying, there's games out there where they even got no acting. So, yeah, I do not let that get to you. Like, if you want to test this game out i would definitely recommend you test it out play it and, and you i guarantee and i promise you you will enjoy it if you pay attention to the acting then yeah i guess stay away from it but in my opinion i'm like fam i i just i don't know like i feel like if i hadn't seen people talking about the acting i would have never been paying attention to it so it's just it's one of those things where i'm like yeah don't allow the acting i guess to get to you the gameplay wise it's pretty good acting it's it, to me, I'm like, I don't see anything wrong with it. I'm like, I didn't seen. My thing is this. I didn't seen much more worse in video games, movies, TV shows, where I'm like, fam, I pay money to watch this, and this is the best type of acting that you can, okay, I, I guess. I'm like, I, if you know, if that's, uh, if that's what they want to do, that's what they want to do. But anyways, yeah, I would definitely recommend getting it. Um, on Steam, it is currently $59.99. They got a deluxe edition that's $79.99. I don't know if there's a difference um, from like console, if there's like a, like a $69.99, but let me check and see what it's on uh, um, Xbox. All right, let me just see if it is it available on Xbox. That'd be crazy if it's not available on Xbox. But All right, so it's $69.99 on uh, Xbox. And then uh, PlayStation, I imagine it's going to be the same. But most likely for like Black Friday and stuff, I can see them actually having it on sale for uh, Black Friday. I mean, if they don't, then I mean, yeah, it's it's whatever. But it is a single player game. So yeah, it's uh, $69.99 excuse me, but, uh, anyways, um, but yeah, I mean, if they don't have it on sale, they don't, but if they, uh, do, then yeah, I, you know, wait until, uh, Black Friday and things, but, uh, anyways, 
with that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and peace.